Hey everyone, how's it going? We are out here at Eureka for the redesign video. Am I in frame good? I'm in frame good, so that's good. Yeah, we're gonna play the new Eureka here. Uh, it's, I think a par 61, something like that. They had a couple par fives. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on hole 18 yet because it's not really there. So I'm gonna play what I think is 18. Uh, we played it at league last week. I have two rounds on this layout so far, a singles round of 52 and a doubles round of Joker with myself of 50, but I played four holes in the dark. So we're gonna try to shoot sub 50 today. Lots of birdies. I expect somewhere between eight and 10 birdies, a uh, twos, I mean twos, not birdies. And there's a four or five par fours. So let's get it going. And that is Michael in the basket. Oh, I hit the pole. You don't really see once you hit that initial gap. There's a pretty big ravine off to the right. You wouldn't really know that unless you uh, played the course. a cool little tidbit about this hole. It was actually my third ace ever. I was with Perry Seinfeld and aced it. If he's watching this, he will remember that I called the bank off the tree by the basket. Oh my goodness. So what it threw in the air. I meant to go outside of that tree right there, and I went inside, so I got kind of lucky there with the birdie, but keep trucking. They only get harder from here. This is the last of the uh, easy, easy holes. The next one's easy, but it's not like every time kind of easy. <sighs> Didn't get it wide enough. This is one of those where I have to throw the same shot. I just tried to have confidence in off the tee uh, for my open shot. If you guys are interested, interested in what's going on in my head, I'm kind of thinking a understable putter, slight pop-up, or a force over overstable mid. A little deep, maybe 30 or so. Uh, hole seven, the first of the par fours here. The basket is essentially past eight olds basket, if you're familiar with the course at all. I think this needs to be, like the tee shot's okay. I'm gonna essentially aim at her, try to clear that big tree. Land like right in there would be ideal. And then I'd still have about three, 50 uphill to the basket. Another thing I didn't really say, uh, the reason I threw a panic for that upshot is because I threw a trace at league last week and it ended up about 40 short so uh, there's so much stuff to hit on this hole I was just trying to get something that would be a putt um, I just threw it a little too low oh, give it a run. so this is one green that could definitely be cleared up look at all these small trees I know they were crunched on time but I'd like to see these trees taken down a little bit over here
so good. Stay in here. Oh, I hit that big tree, I'm short. See it, it's still here. Lots of mosquitoes, you can't tell. Come on. Yes. Go. Big foot. Okay, quick overview of the new hole 11. There's this tree right here in the corner. I want to try to miss, go right where she's pretty much at, flex down with the forehand, miss that tree behind it, and then down to the right. That'll put me in a creek and give me a uh, really good shot at getting the birdie three. For reference, there's that big tree. I'm gonna be down here. The pin's up where she's at. Very particular shot. So my shot there was a little bit to the left, hold on. Okay, get a three, move on. As my wife is in position there, check out how rough these are. If you ever wondered, so I'm going to throw and hopefully uh, put it close. Did I miss that putt today, Andrew? So the reason I said that is uh, I straight up missed a putt at like 9 p.m., like 8.45 at night and pitch blocked on the Soul to Win League last time. Made it today though. You're going to the basket? No, took one though. Are there a flick, backhand, putter, mid? Backhand. Which other? Okay. Putter. If it's a if it's a backhand, it'd be a runway or an envy. Envy. That's a little far. This one is eight ten. It's another par four, or I guess that was a par five. Um, the goal is to get it somewhere out there with a good swing out of the bushes. Uh, I'd say about 500 off the tee, 480 to 500. Leave me with a big hyzer approach in. Come on, baby. All right, so I didn't quite feel the headwind off that tee. 
I went a little bit right into the uh, weeds, but we can still be able to manufacture some kind of shot. I am the basket. Oh my god, my need hit. Oh, the back. So here's where my drive landed. Look at this basket. I've never seen it's like a Mach 11 or something. So uh, take this as you will. So I'm looking at the, the tennis. Should be good. You can catch it so you don't get hit. Oh, man. She did me dirty. I think that was then. See if this, see if this basket's still broken. Oh, okay. It was good. All right, guys, so that was the Eureka redesign video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It definitely makes the course a lot more fun to play. My only complaint would be the par fours, not, not the ones in the field, obviously, but the new par fours, they're a little bit too cluttered around the greens. I shot a 47, which felt great. During the first time I played that course, I had 10 twos, but I just messed up holes that I, I should have never messed up. So. It felt good to capitalize. I missed one putt inside the circle, but I think I only had like six circle one X putts. So I wasn't tested too much on the putting. One really good circle two putt and one uh, circle two putt I should have made, which I did. I, like I said, I enjoyed the course though, and it's worth checking out. I'll actually go out there and play more now. The mosquitoes are horrible too, which I only think I left one little tidbit in the video, but they were just biting the crap out of me the whole time. Now on to the exciting part. We're gonna get to our giveaways here. After I went through the comments, I found that there were 60 individual people that commented that will be in both videos or both giveaways because they commented two along with a normal comment. And then it looks like only six people did not get into the Cosmic Photon, which also, let me just plug um, this next giveaway, which will probably happen sooner than I had thought. So we're already at 330 subscribers as I'm making this. And when we get to 350, I've already set up something with Adam Downs who has hand candy design. And we're gonna do a couple dies on MVP discs and give them away for the next one. So I'm very excited, his stuff is really good. I will leave his Instagram link in the description so you guys can uh, check it out and, and look them up and see for yourselves. But let me switch this camera around and let's get some uh, numbers generated for you guys and see who wins. So we are refreshed and here we go. We're gonna do for the, first one will be everybody. So I'll do all 60 people. This is for the wave number 40. All right, refresh this one more time. And the second winner is out of 54 people three so that'll be really easy to figure out and as you know guys i go from the comments so we have three is going to be the winner of the photon so there's the first comment there's the second one and three so it looks like rusty is the winner of the photon and now 40 please bear with me as i fast forward this and figure it out eight 39 40. Oh, I did not mean to click on that. So number 40 is actually Colby Robbins. And he I know him, he's a local guy, so that's perfect. And then number three was Rusty Reichman or Reichman. I'm not sure how you say that, but there you go. Well, thank you for commenting so much and making me go through that many comments because that was awesome. Uh, and thank you for the support in this video. This has also been just amazing. I think we've grown like 40 or 50 subscribers just in this video alone. It That means a ton, guys. And I am looking forward to giving more and more stuff away. As the channel keeps on growing, uh, I've noticed that our... The amount of people that aren't subscribed watching the videos is definitely going down in percentage. Um, and I think we're down to like 55% of the people that watch are... Um, 
aren't subscribed, which I watch a lot of YouTube and that seems about the norm. So if it improves, great. If not, I'm gonna keep making these videos for the people that, that do subscribe and wanna see them. So I appreciate each and every one of you that has done so. I am not sure what my next video is gonna be. I am TDing for Illinois AMs all weekend. I, I might actually give you guys some AM content or something. Uh, I'm playing a flex tournament on Friday. I might be able to do something with that. And I'll be playing with Nate Heinold, so maybe I'll make fun of him the whole time and, and film him or something. But guys, thanks as always for watching. Thanks to my sponsors, MVP, Plastic Addicts, and Paragon. And I will see you guys in the next one.